welcome to Phuket, Phuket Thailand. Now, when we were looking at coming to Phuket, we were a little overwhelmed by the choices of the different beaches, mainly because they all had something a little bit different to offer. Yeah, now they're all Thai beaches, so you can't go wrong with the beaches themselves. But it's what part of town, what part of the community do we want to be a part of while we're staying here? And then also, what does that place have to offer? You know, do they have beach bars? Do they have a busy street running right through the middle of it? Right. Stuff like that. Those are kind of, we kind of had some specifics we were looking for. And so what we want to do is take you to the key beaches. And what we are doing right now is starting at the kind of far end of the island. Right, and we're gonna work our way up to where we chose to stay. And we're very happy with the choice that we made but we're not sure yet because we haven't been to these other beaches <laughs> we're yet. We're just exploring. So we are starting here in Kata Beach. Now one thing you're going to be hard struck not to find is the beautiful turquoise water which you obviously have here at Kata Beach. This beach is, it's not a really, really long beach but um, it's a nice wide beach, nice white soft sand. Yeah, it's really nice. There's plenty of activities that you can do on this beach. We see the windsurfing. We see plenty of spaces back here where you can rent a surfboard if you want to do that. I'm sure they probably offer some lessons. Not a whole lot for big waves here, so it might be a great place to, to learn. Um, and then the other thing I'm, I'm seeing right away or not seeing is beach bars. So I'm not seeing any place right down here on the beach to get a beverage and kind of chill with your feet in the sand. So yeah, if you're looking for that, that this may not check that box. Okay, now right across the street from the beach, we do have fruit stands, snack bars, t-shirts, hats, all the stuff you would expect, except for one thing. I'm still not finding that beer, and it is definitely time for a beer. All right, we stand corrected. There is a spot on the beach, kinda, that you can get yourself a beverage. However, they're a little more expensive there and your feet are not in the sand. No, it's a resort and that small beer is 120, which is actually the highest we've seen. Yeah. Usually we pay about maybe 120 for a big one, 140 maybe. So uh, a little bit more. So a little bit how we got here. We came from Koh Samui and we flew into Phuket, which is honestly an hour, not even. It was not a 45 minute hour. flight. Very yeah. easy, nice travel day. Great and airport, Phuket, or Koh Samui, by the way. If right. you've never been to the airport, mm -hmm. go, to, go to Koh Samui just to check out the airport. <laughs> it's our favorite airport so far. <laughs> uh, and then when you arrive into Phuket, it's actually also very easy at the airport to navigate. and. The way we chose to get to our hotel, you have numerous ways you can do it. You get a range pickup, um, your hotel may have that. We just decided to go with the airport bus and that's always kind of that gray area. How well is it gonna work? And it works so well. Yeah, it worked great. I actually tried to talk Carrie into just getting a cab and having the cab take us right yeah. to our place and pay the money and not hassle it. But she saved me probably about $15 we, just by taking the bus yeah. and it worked. So the bus from the airport to our place was only 100 baht in yeah. the, and so it really was, it was going to be about six, 700 baht just to right. take a grab. So uh, money saved and it was very easy. So maybe a block yeah, off of the beach. So not very far. Um, you have all kinds of restaurants and bars to go to, and they actually have a very cool kind of street marketplace. It looks like it's open all the time, so that's really nice. And probably a way more affordable way to get some food. I don't know about you guys, but for us, or for me, Brian's waiting for a beer. It is so hot out, so hot food doesn't ever sound good. So got myself another smoothie. 40 baht, not bad.
So one thing we always look for um, is if there is going to be a mini mart or something that's close by to us, Brian likes his cold beer. So this one is actually a really nice size one. A lot of them are really small and don't have a lot, but this looks good. Okay, so Cotta Beach, what were your thoughts on it? I do like it. I really do. Uh, I don't like it as well as the place we're staying, but I do like it. I would consider staying here. Yeah. The one drawback for me is the main drag is a good block off the beach. So if you're looking for that bar or restaurant that's right on the beach, there's just not very many of them. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. Yeah, and I would agree with that. Yeah. I think if it has everything, if you're looking for it, it's got, like we showed you, it's got the market, it's yeah. got the bar, it's got the restaurant, it's got all the street food, which is a really big thing for us as well, because we are budgeted. Um, it's just but not it's perfect. A ways, it's a ways off of the beach yeah. for us. So that didn't check we're gonna, we're gonna keep. We're gonna keep looking. We're gonna, we're gonna show gonna you more. Moving. Okay, on to the next beach. Okay, now Songkran is coming up. It starts tomorrow. Those ladies were a day early. I saw them coming, so I was ready. But it's a massive water fight right here in Phuket. And we're excited about it, but we're not sure how much we're gonna be like, taking part in it. You saw Carrie run. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where we're at with that. That's what that was all about. So what, is, what it is for is it's actually their new year and it's celebrated over three days and it's throughout Thailand. So there are certain areas that you probably want to just stay away from and uh, keep your stuff like your camera gear that's not waterproof put away. There you go. I You're holding it upside it down, but. <laughs> is it upside down? See, I will be of no good. <laughs> So now we have found our way down to Karan Beach. And one thing about Kata and Karan is they're not that far apart. No. So we actually were able to walk it and it is really hot out and I got Brian here to walk it, so. Yeah, you know, it really wasn't that bad. As hot no. as it is, as muggy it is, it's, it's a 10, 15 minute walk. Right, and Sidewalks, really, Sidewalks, yeah. really easy to do. So really, if you're staying in this area and you like both beaches, you can hit either one of them. Yeah, right. Now. One of the ways that, so getting around the island, you have many choices. So obviously, like we said, we just walked these ones, but the other ones are, the other beaches are quite a ways away from each other. Right. So you have a couple options. You can do a grab, you can do a taxi, you can do also, they have the little red trucks here. One thing that we have found here on Phuket is those options are very expensive. So if you want to be able to move around quite a bit, it's going to cost you. Yeah. So the next option. Well, you can take the bus. Yeah. And here's the beauty about the bus. And this was Carrie's idea. And I said, no, Carrie, we're not gonna do that. The bus has air conditioning and Wi-Fi. So Carrie wanted to just do a bus tour, yeah, we're point just the camera out the window and drive. <laughs> that that wouldn't have enough. made for a very good video. I think it would have been fine. I had to say we no. been, yeah. Uh, yeah. But th that is a great option to do because it is, it's a flat rate, 100 baht from wherever you wanna go, from the airport all the way down to the right. end. And we will show a map there on the screen of where you can take it. Um, so for us, it's been really easy. And it's kind of like pretty much on the hour, there is a schedule online. noticing on this beach is kind of similar to the other beach. We did find one beach bar right when you when you enter, so that right. was really nice. Um, but the same thing, there's massage places right on the beach. There's places where you can go ahead and probably rent a chair and spend the day. Lots of water Yeah, sports. there's a lot of that. There's still, I still haven't seen any place to grab yourself a beverage that's not a beach bar. Yeah. We're just not ready to do that right now. Mm. Right now I'm a little bit wet. <laughs> and I, I don't think I'm going to dry off until sometime tomorrow afternoon because <laughs> that's it is from the humidity so more than anything. <laughs> it is so bad, yeah. Um, but they do have so similar to the other. There is a lot of different things right across the street. Yes. So you are going to be on the other side of the street to get to any of your little markets and uh, fruit, food stands and stuff like that. If you're into beaches, Phuket is the place for you. Might be the place for you. Yeah. <laughs>
finally found some beer. Thank you. Okay, so we got our beers. Um, one thing that's kind of cool about our little snack dish, because uh, anybody who knows me knows I, well, no, we'll put it another way. Brian likes his snacks, and he eats them a lot faster than I do. So when we have a shareable snack, I feel like I have to eat really fast to get my part. This part, it's my section, this section. Okay, we, we, we found a place for the beverage across the street from the beach again. It's 80 baht for a small and 140 for a large. Now, 140 for a large is a pretty good price, so I'm happy with that. Carrie's small was a little bit expensive. She should have stepped it up a notch, but you know. Brian's already done with his snack. That's why we don't share. <laughs> Judge as you may. seeing right away is that once again you have the road splitting you yeah. from the beach area so if you don't mind crossing a road every time you want to go down to the beach then not a big deal right you know when you're laying on the beach and you're hearing loud traffic and trucks and speakers and it's just not as, as good as it could be right, right. Yeah. so so that's kind of what we're looking for we're looking for a beach with street food yeah, that is one thing that's also, yeah, that's one yeah. thing that's lacking here. This, we're not seeing the street food like right. we saw at the other location. Well, well we love street food, so. <laughs> it's cheaper. It's, it's so good. <laughs> we gotta save money for our beers. <laughs> okay, Karan Beach, I think I'm pronouncing that right. What do you think? So, very similar to Kata Beach, um, as far as you're removed from the beach is very much away from all the other amenities that you might be looking for. Yeah. I would have to say that for me, I actually prefer Kata Beach over Caron. Um, I just felt like it offered a lot more. It had the markets, it had the street food. Now, one thing I will say is that this beach is actually very long and we have not walked the entire length of it. So right. maybe we're missing something here. But in the main area where you are going to reach it from the other beach, there really wasn't much for markets or street food. No, or there really like wasn't. And I would agree with all of that, including the part where we're not going to walk much further. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to find a red truck or stop at a bus stop somewhere because now we're going to the next beach. Air conditioning. <laughs> Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi. <laughs> now we have made it to Patong Beach. Now we personally did not see Patong Beach as a place that we wanted to stay in, but it may be a place that appeals to a lot of people. A lot of people. Now I don't care how old you are, if you're 55 or 25, be ready to party and have a good time yeah. because this is the epicenter of a good time. Yeah. And you're gonna see what we're talking about here in a few seconds. Especially this time of year. <laughs> talking about right here. This is Penang Beach. Very stayed back in the safety zone. But right here.
bargain for here. It's uh, I'm uh, completely soaked now. I think Terry made the right choice, but you got old men, little girls, you got everybody down here. We got literally people throwing buckets of water, water pistols. Uh, yeah, this is chaos, and this is the day before. So we walked back down about halfway to the end. We realized we gotta walk back now. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. I think when you have a GoPro and you're filming this whole thing, I think you become a target. Okay, so in the middle of all that, we ran in to train Hannah, we probably lost, checked our channel out, he's just as soaked as I am. <laughs> I'm glad that Brian and Trey went through to experience that. We stayed yeah. on the outside yeah, the and stayed a little dry. Yeah, the ladies stayed back and kept dry. I'm sure that that will change as the evening goes on. Yeah, so. the things that I do for a video. <laughs> now, this beach is just as gorgeous as any of the others. Plenty of places to stay here at Penang Beach. A lot of bars, a lot of restaurants. You can find that Irish pub that you're probably going to be looking for. Yeah, no shortage. And honestly, like if you need a place to stay when you are looking in Phuket, this is going to be the place where you're going to find the probably the least expensive accommodation. So if you're okay with that and then want to just hop around using the bus, this might be the place for you. This might be the place for you. For us, it's not. Okay, so next day, uh, last night went a little bit later than yeah. we planned for it to now, go. Now, we tried to shoot this video all of one day. Uh, last night got away from us a little bit. I yeah. uh, got wet, as you can see. <laughs> uh, we also had to take a grab home. Right, so normally, like we were mentioning, we would have taken the bus, but we ended up staying and uh, met up with some friends and stayed past the bus time schedule. So that is something to keep in mind yeah. because it was the difference of 200 baht for the two of us to take the bus uh, compared to 700. <laughs> so, yeah. and we were honestly, it was a 10 minute ride. And it it's wasn't it far. wasn't incredibly late either. No, it, you know, it was so, like 10.30. Yeah so, yeah, so anyway, keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Now we're down here at Kamala Beach. This is where we are staying. Right. And we're gonna show it to you because we love it. We love it and there are multiple reasons why we chose this beach area and we're gonna kind of bring those to you uh, so that you have all the information you need to make your decision. And we're also gonna show you where we're staying. Right. And we're pretty pleased with that as well. Very so we'll happy with it. Highly recommend it.
Now you probably can tell from some of the comments we made from the other places that we were yeah. visiting that we were looking for a place that was going to have the beach bars and stuff right down on the beach with a nice path walking through like we had a picture in our head and Kamala kind of checked it did check all those boxes it checked for us. all those boxes yeah. for us the restaurants are right on the beach you put your feet in the sand you have yourself lunch or a beverage there's also street food though that you can go get as well yeah. it's very close by it's a little less expensive it's so also that's not, also he, yeah, that's a huge plus. And it's also not right on the street, which we really like here. Like it's actually off in a nice area. So you feel like you're not, I don't know. And they've got seating and everything. That was just something we weren't finding the same style in other places. So one thing that there's there is plenty of here on the beach as well is the chairs that you can rent or if you're just getting a beverage or something like that a lot of them just offer that space as well uh, and then of course your massages on the beach there's a ton of places for that if that's what you're looking for okay rentals all along the beach you can rent yourself a surfboard there's kite surfing is that what it's called kite surfing <laughs> wind surfing, wind surfing. Uh, there's uh, paddle boards there's all kinds of water sports jet skis that you can participate in all on the beach so you have an easy time finding that you've also got some street food along the beach here this Thank guy's you. right here <laughs> right right here hello, hello. and uh so and get, beers right on the beers beach right on the can beach just buy and then walk out onto the beach which is uh, something we weren't seeing in the other location right so that has been really nice that's very important yeah, yeah. it is very important um the one thing I, this beach is really a nice quiet beach we're not noticing now this is earlier in the day yeah. uh, and it does get a little busier as the day goes on but even with that it's still a really nice chill quiet beach so now and also something else i'd like to point out if you're not staying here but you wish you had there's plenty of public parking mm -hmm. whether you're in a car or a scooter you can get here and you can park out by the street and walk down to the beach no right. problem And now if you were looking for a place that is kind of more a just a bigger resort has everything you're going to need maybe you don't have to actually do a lot outside of that resort if you go to the far end of kamala beach there are what we saw three pretty good size wow. maybe four good size resorts down here uh, very nice they have their beach access chairs probably all inclusive i'm guessing yeah i don't know i don't know, know. it'd be cool if they yeah. were because we'll probably stay in one of those one day also they're really nice they're nice yeah one day <laughs> So now there is a street that kind of runs down by the beach, but uh, a, enough away where you're going to be able to have access to any of those things you might need more shopping, pharmacies, all that kind of stuff. And then really close by is also a big, uh, really good size yeah, market, nice grocery store, yeah. a grocery store as well. Yeah, we're like a two minute walk away from the beach to our place and about a two minute walk from there to the major grocery store. And down a really nice quiet alleyway. We're in right now. <laughs>
Okay, so our place that we're staying at, it's called the Wab Wabi Sabi Boutique Hotel. It is maybe a couple minute walk from the beach, a really nice chill walk to the beach, which was something that we were really excited about. It's got a really nice pool that actually has a little chill to it. Our yeah. pool is <laughs> not cold by any means, but the water here we're finding in Phuket is really warm it's bathtub warm yeah it's and, not and i typically like that i am totally a weenie when it comes to yeah. like cold water but it's almost it's too warm here i'm just gonna throw that <laughs> out there so let's go over like the different beaches and where we would pick for what reason yeah. so obviously for me Kamala was the top choice yeah. and we are super happy with our decision to stay here. Yeah, no, I 100% agree with that. If I was 25, 30 years old and I was ready to party and have a good time, go out drinking every night, mm -hmm. Penang is a place to be because they've got all of that yeah. plus some. There is yeah. an endless supply of bars and places that are going to be staying open late until the night. Um, yeah. That street that you saw Brian going through with all the water fighting, normally when that's not going on, that is just kind of the nighttime party scene. Yeah. So, uh, great area as well if you're younger or if you need to have a cheaper place to stay because they're going to have that. Now, Kamala, Kata, and Karan Beach, I would say all have a lot of similarities to each other. If you're a family and traveling, I would say any of those are probably a great choice. I would still personally as a mom, I think when my kids were younger, I'd still pick <laughs> Kamala Beach because I wasn't dealing with that busy main road right there that we were constantly having to cross to just get down to the beach with my kids. So um, I think that for us personally, Personally, Kamala checked all the boxes. No, I'd agree with all that. Let us know which beach, if you've been here, let us know what you think about which beach you like mm -hmm. best because it helps our audience. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.